Hey guys, how you doing? So here's something cool, a completely 3D printed huge Batman logo. My goal was to make a super simple glowing logo from Tim Burton's Batman. This logo lamp has no complex circuitry at all. It's just some plain old LED strip added to a 3D printed body. It's super easy to make. All you need is a 3D printer and white strip LED. As for the build guide, you can check out the whole article about this from the link given in the video description. But basically, I first have to search for a Batman logo. In Fusion 360, I uploaded the image of Batman logo and calibrated its size so it would fit 500mm long. After that, I modeled the Batman logo by tracing the image and the end result will be this huge Batman logo that is ready to be 3D printed. Now here's a slight problem. I only have an Ender 3 with me whose build area is 235mm by 235mm but my model is 500mm long. To print this model on my Ender 3, I cut down this model into 5 pieces and printed them all with following settings. Also here's an alternative if you don't own a 3D printer. You could use PCBWay's 3D printing service. PCBWay also provides CNC 3D printing services apart from PCB manufacturing and PCB assembly. Earlier, I placed an order for a custom 3D printed part from the PCBWay. So I uploaded my STL files for the body on PCBWay's FDM quote page and then selected the material for this job which was PLA. I ordered the 3D printed main body for this project and received the package in about a week. The quality of this print was very high. This service is useful for those who don't own a 3D printer or who want an SLA 3D print which cannot be made in an FDM 3D printer or a metal 3D print. Check out PCBWay's 3D printing service for ordering custom 3D printed and CNC parts for a low price. After 3D printing all the parts, we need to attach them together by standard superglue. This whole process includes connecting all parts together and adding superglue between them. Then we add a clip to hold two parts in their place until two parts are completely welded together. I use metallic black paint to add a nice layer on the 3D printed part to make it look more glossy and sleek. To make this logo glow, the best way is to add an LED strip on it. We can use LEDs that are controlled by a remote control driver like a fancy RGB strip that comes with remote control. I didn't have those so I use white LED strip instead. These LED strip that I have doesn't have the sticky tape so I have to manually add double sided thermal tape to each LED strip and then connect them all in parallel to one another. After adding the LED strip I added a USB cable to the logo. I cut down the VCC and ground part from the micro side of the USB and solder it to the light strip VCC and ground part. I then added hot glue to hold the cable in its place. As for the power source, we could use any 5V source like a power bank or a smartphone charger. In the end, I mounted this light beside my flash logo which was also made in a similar way. Also special thanks to PCBWay for supporting this project. You guys can check them out if you need great PCB service along with CNC and 3D printing service as well. Thanks again and I'll be back with a new project soon. Peace out.